Spiritual warfare is the Christian concept of fighting against the work of preternatural evil forces. It is based on the biblical belief in evil spirits or demons that are said to intervene in human affairs in various ways. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War, back at you again with another lesson. And um, I don't really have a title yet for the lesson, but I was watching uh, Elder Apostle Rumlob. He did a live stream uh, earlier. You know, he does one every day. And the one I seen earlier, he uh, made mention about the uh, spiritual eye, all right, which is that spiritual eye is our third eye. Once we woken up to this truth and we got an understanding, okay, you know, you realize that that everything is done, everything that happens and everything that is being done, it starts with the spirituality of things first, okay, then it is physical you know people always wonder why well let me say jake you know they don't have the understanding and they live in their wicked life they live in their wicked life every day you know when people close to them die and i'm using that for an example you know they start to question the most high and they say why me or you know why 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 her or why him you know why me you know case may be right it's because they're not seeing it with a spiritual eye, nor do they have the understanding. So being that the Lord woke us up to this truth and gave us, all right, that uh, that understanding, okay, the Rakakwadash, Spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit, all right, in his word, you know, we can see things first through the spiritual eye, through the spirit, we can see it, and we can understand why these things happen, all right? So that third eye, all right, that third eye is the spiritual, the spirituality of things in which plays along in your mind if the Lord allow you to tap into it, you know? And this ain't no lesson, man, for guys to be taking, um, what you call it, uh, hallucinating drugs and all that shit, you know, mushrooms, like that idiot, whoever that guy was that was pushing that. We know that there is, all right, uh, the left-hand side and those who try to, tap into their third eye you know using um what's that dmt like mike tyson if i'm saying that right dm something where they they tap into they they third eye and they see all this they get comforted and they feel good no this ain't that type of lesson man you know if you think um that way then you know you you got it wrong okay we're talking about the, the truth we're talking about this this truth the bible all right, and righteousness. You know, see, the world is introduced to the left-hand side, and that's all you know. But there is a right-hand side of things as well, because the Lord is a fine balance. Just that, just just as well as there's wickedness, it is just as well as righteousness. All right. So let me just read this again. Spiritual warfare is the Christian concept of fighting against the work of preternatural evil forces. It is based on a biblical belief in evil spirits or demons. All right. Now, when we're fighting this spiritual fight, you know, we're fighting against them demons. We're fighting against those principalities. All right. We're fighting against the evil forces of this world. All right. Because this world is ran by Satan. You know, look who's ruling. You know, it says that are said to intervene in human affairs in various ways. And, and that's the spirits, okay? The spirits that the Most High created, that are, that are designed, you know, to do their part, their work, to bring forth trouble. Matter of fact, you know, the Lord also said in Sirach 38, and I believe starting at 29, he said, there be spirits that lay on sore strokes, and their uh, wrath, they appease him, that have made him roughly paraphrasing so the lord created also spirits that you know that would just take your ass out man okay he created spirits to be a lying spirit you know to make you a liar he he created spirits to uh plague you you know to plague your mind man the lord got all sorts of uh uh spirits 
okay, on the left hand side to do specific things. And they're good at it. They're, they're the best at it. All right, just like Satan. Satan, all right, which is the tempter, okay, he is the prince of the left side. He's the prince of the most high, but on the left side. All right, the left hand side of the power of the Lord. You know, just like Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai is the prince, okay, on the right hand side of the Lord, but also he's over the left hand side of the Lord. All right, so Yahweh Shai is more powerful than Satan. So it's safe to say that, look, the right hand side power of the Lord is greater than the left hand side power of the Lord. All right. And wherefore the right hand side power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. So let's read that again. Spiritual warfare is the Christian concept of fighting against the work of preternatural pre evil forces. It is based on biblical beliefs and evil spirits or demons that are said to intervene in human affairs in various ways you know so when you on your you know your daily strolls you live in your life you know what you do you know you you know you come in contact with trouble well trouble contacts you all right and when these troubles contact you you know that it's of what the left hand side hey whether you tempt it you know, or some cases, you know, you look at it because the scriptures do say a spiritual man judge of all things. You know, you look at it in a way where, you know, the Lord wants you to go down a certain path. Maybe, you know, you're going, your mind is set in this direction, but the Lord is saying, no, I want you to go in this direction. So trouble come, come on your side, you know, and then you got to bear with it. And then little do you know it that your mind and the process of your mind has changed, you know, so what's going on so you know those things can happen too you know it's a spirit my point is man of this lesson there's a spirituality first of everything that happens carnally man there's a reason behind it it's just not done for no reason it's a reason behind it you know like esau taking our channels down you know for no reason well it is for a reason not to say that it's for no reason it's for a reason because we're pushing this truth all right, their heads, their higher ups are saying, take it down. All right, I don't care what you got to do. Just take it off. They don't get fair notice. You know, it's unfair. All right, some people treat it fair, who they want, who they like. And us, we're not treated fair. Okay, they could just give you one strike. And then you wake up in the morning, your whole channel's gone off of one strike. You contact them. No reply, or they reply and say it is what it is. Well, why? Well, you say to yourself, well, damn, yo, all these months of work, and they just do that with, without even warning, you know, for, for, for a cancellation of a whole channel, but you didn't think that they would just take the whole channel. Well, it's done for a reason, man. So it's the spiritual war, man. And I, I'm speaking a lot in uh, Salakia. I just hope that it's edifying. You know, now, since I got that out the way, let me get this word here preternatural all right it says beyond what is normal or natural you know so we understand and we can see what's beyond what is normal or natural all right and that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us that eye that we can tap into to understand what's going on around us what's going on in this world and we know that in this world is nothing but full of wickedness man it's witchcraft everywhere. See, Jake is in their folly because they're ignorant to Satan devices. The Lord said that we're not ignorant to Satan devices. So that makes our eyes open. So it says beyond what is normal or natural. Preternatural. All right, so that's that. Now I want to grab this scripture here, which is Ephesians 6 and 10. And, uh... You know, let's read it. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So we got to be strong in the Lord. All right. We got to be strong in the Lord. And it, which, which in strong in the Lord is uh, obeying by what the Lord said to do. Helps you be strong in the Lord. Being strong in the Lord is praying. Constantly praying, crying out, you know. Being strong in the Lord is uh, studying and learning the scriptures so that no kinks in your armor, 
where where seducing spirits could seduce you. All right, being strong in the Lord is believing, trusting, and uh, and and having that faith. All right, it says, and in the power of His might, it says, put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor is this truth. We got to put the whole armor on, man. Not half of it, but the whole armor, man. The the, the helmet, the 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 chest plate, the the gauntlets. You know the um, you know the uh. The, you know, you know, the whole armor, man. <laughs> I can't think of all the armor of an ancient warrior. So anyway, it says that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now, the wiles of the devils are the trickery, man. You know, and I may mention that you have seducing spirits. If you're not, if you don't have 100% understanding in this truth, you know, and you're teaching, you know, partial false doctrine mixed with, with the truth, then guess what? You could be seduced in a, in a, in a, uh, uh, from a wicked spirit, you know, believing in a lie, you know. And then once you've been believing in a lie, all right, when you go to get corrected by uh, a man of the Lord and he's teaching you and telling you, you know, and reproving you, then guess what? You develop pride, you know, for an example, like you got men from these different camps, you know, and they get shape ups. They line their hairs up, you know, they, they round the corners of their beard. And the, the law says not to do that. You tell them that what happens is they'll be stiff, stiff neck against you, you know, and, and curse you out. Because why? They got too much pride. They've been doing it for too long because that was part of what? Their false doctrine that they believed in, you know. So the water, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, you know, for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, for giving us this 100 percent truth, man. OK. 100% truth, man. All right. It says, um, but put on the whole arm of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that's the trickeries, man. You know, you could be tricked out of your salvation through a woman. You could be tricked out of your salvation through uh, filthy lucre, you know, or making a lot of money. You know, you could be tricked out of your salvation through, through these false religions, you know, that the government Esau set up through his governments. Okay, you could be tricked out of your salvation, man. It says, for we wrestle. And I'm saying that if you, you know, if you're not of the elect, of course, you, you will be rooted up out of there. You know, but if you of the elect, you won't be tricked. All right. So verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we're fighting, all right, against these spirits. Okay, we're fighting against the powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, which is Esau. All right, Esau, Edom. All right, they the ones that rule the world. They the ones that's calling the shot. They the ones that pushes these agenda. This agenda that we under now, this gradualism and conditioning. All right, to their B system. It says against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. It says, verse 13, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have it done all to stand. So all the little fiery trials we go through, it's all building us up for that day of the battle, you know, to withstand in that evil day. You know, these scriptures are repetitive. They come out. It's a song, man. You're just playing the same song over and over and over. All right? But it's to do what? To build you up. So that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. It says, verse 14, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shrouded in the preparation of the gospel of peace. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. It says, which is the word of Yahweh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perverse perverseness and supplication for all saints. All right. So now. Real quick, let me. Um, just get another quick precept and uh, call it a lesson. This is uh uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4 It says For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal 
but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. All right, so the weapons of our warfare, all right, prophets, men of the Lord, teachers who teach in the scriptures, our weapons of our war, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right, so we're not out here uh, to teach you to uh, physically go to a gun shop and pick up guns and weapons and knives and bow and arrows and telling you this is how you're going to save your family all right that's not a prophet of the lord man the pro a real prophet and man of the lord is going to tell you and read the scriptures to you all right which the scriptures say uh a prudent man foresee of the evil he hideth himself meaning hide yourself in these scriptures man all right repent get yourself right you know do all that you can to withstand in the evil day as we just read in Ephesians. So for the weapons of our warfare, are not carnal, all right? Because why? The men of the Lord, we see things on a spiritual perspective first before the carnal. Why is it happening? Because why? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is making it happen, all right? And the Lord forewarned us for things to come. This is the word prophecy, okay? Saying things before they happen, having that third eye okay that spiritual eye eyes open to see what's coming down the pipe you know so the water the water the water Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for informing us and telling us these things before they spring up so for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal all right are not carnal are not carnal you know and I got to say it like that because you got agents man set up agents that's looking to do some psyops you know and they're going to do what they do but the real men of the lord all right are not leading you down the path of carnality man all right or through carnalness they're not leading you in the path of carnal leading you in the path of spiritual all right for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to pulling down of strongholds and those strongholds is what these false philosophies, these uh, religions, these false re religions throughout these, this government, all right? The ideology and the way that people live, those are the strongholds, man. And the Lord is pulling down these strongholds by his word. And that's why the devil, all right, is upset. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.